Today, we are going to be going over the recent Instagram post made by the Corvette Instagram channel, what it means and what we can expect from the new Corvette. Make sure to watch till the end as this will be what we should expect from this new Corvette. If you like my Corvette content, please like this video, as it helps a small creator like me against the YouTube algorithm. I appreciate it. What is the reveal about? The Corvette Instagram channel posted a video including the silhouette of the upcoming Corvette ZR1 followed by saying that the full reveal will happen this summer. This is important as, in my opinion, it confirms that the brand new Corvette ZR1 will be coming out next year, with production starting either at the tail end of this year or early next year. This post is sure to make Corvette fans hyped, as this should be the best and most race-focused Corvette for right now, until the Zora comes out. Price What can we expect price-wise? Well, it will be more expensive than the current Corvette E-Ray and Z06, and according to major media outlets, they expect the Corvette ZR1 to start from around $140,000 to $160,000. Unfortunately, given the fact that the Corvette will be produced in extremely limited numbers, and the fact that dealers will probably be marking it up to the moon, it would probably be expected to pay around $200,000 to $250,000 to get your hands on one. The previous generation C7 ZR1 was only made in a handful of units, which was 2,986 over its production run, with only 2,894 of them being for consumers. I would expect the ZR1 to be similar if not a little bit more, hence leading to the rarity and collectability. Before we get to the most exciting part, if you could please like the video and subscribe to the channel, thank you. Engine and Performance What can we expect performance-wise? Well, we can probably expect many of the same upgrades the previous C7 ZR1 got over the base and Z06. For example, the C7 ZR1 got more aggressive aero enhancements, with the main goal of helping the ZR1 around the track. Another major change could be upgraded and even more aggressive suspension fitted for track use especially. The main change, of course, will be the engine, and it is expected that the Corvette ZR1 will have the same engine as the Z06, but Chevy will slap on two turbochargers which will hopefully push the power up to around 800 to 900 horsepower and 600 to 700 pound-feet of torque, making the Corvette a beast of a race car. Exterior and Interior In honor of being the ZR1, we can and should expect some decent exterior and interior changes. For example, in the C7 ZR1, there was extensive badging on the outside of the Corvette, including where the Corvette writing would usually be. I am pretty sure that the C7 ZR1 had a wider body than the C7Z06, so we could definitely expect the C8 ZR1 to have a wider body than the C8Z06, giving it even a bigger presence on the road and more grip and stability on the track. In the interior, we can expect a lot of carbon fiber, ZR1 badging, and many more upgrades over the base Stingray and Z06. What do you think about the ZR1? Let me know in the comments. Do you think it's cool or overkill? And are the other Corvettes more than enough?